हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन दिस विल बी न्यू सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स वेर वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न द पाइथन ओके इंट्रोडक्टरी पाइथन ओके वी कैन से दैट दिस विल बी द क्रैश कोर्स फॉर पाइथन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज दैर विल बी ऑब्वियसली वन क्वेश्चन ओके देन वॉट इज नीड ऑफ पाइथन ओके वाई वी शुड गो विद द पाइथन so uh, let me tell you that uh, there are lots of programming languages like uh, c c++ java python perl ruby uh, then you can say go uh, still lots of assembly language programming uh, assembly language okay embedded c is there then um, um, means lots of programming languages are there so uh, whenever uh, we are working with uh, or whenever we are selecting any programming language okay so uh, first of all we should uh, try to understand the features of that language so in this tutorial uh, we will uh, try to understand the features of uh, python so uh, let's start our discussion uh, here uh, we will start with the features of python so which are the features of python okay so the first feature of python is uh, it is programmer friendly now what is meaning of uh, programmer friend, uh, friendly so meaning of uh, programmer friendly is that uh, uh, it supports uh, programmer in a way in such a way that uh, the output or productivity of pro programmer will be more okay so um, it is very easy to learn okay that is another feature so this we will uh, see while we will learn uh, the python programming okay so i think uh, rather than uh, telling the features of uh, you can say a uh, point uh, features of python okay it will be uh, better uh, if you uh, observe all this thing in programming okay so uh, for simplicity i can say that uh, whatever uh, code is required to perform a task in other language let's say uh, in uh, java or in c we require 30 or uh, 35 lines of code okay while in uh, python okay that same task we can uh, complete uh, using uh, 20 or 15 uh, lines of code okay so that will be uh, programmer friendly as well as easy to learn so that we will see okay next it is portable now what do you mean by portable so portable means it will uh, run on uh, a variety of platforms okay like uh, uh, windows linux uh, mac so there will be no need to uh, uh, install separate framework on each operating system okay so it is portable that same code you can execute everywhere uh, using python using python uh, next is uh, dynamic typing so uh, whatever programming language you might have used like uh, c c++ or java or c sharp okay uh, so in those programming language whenever you are using any variable first of all you have to specify the data type of a variable okay and then and then you can uh, use those variable while in case of uh, python okay python is dynamic typing means uh, there is no need to define the data type of variable okay simply use the variable and uh, based on the value stored into the variable uh, data type will be defined okay so that is uh, dynamic typing next is object oriented now python is fully object oriented programming language so uh, let me give you very simple example uh, if we define any integer variable okay if we define an integer variable then for integer variable also there is a class in python okay so now you just imagine uh, why i have given you this example because uh, in uh, most of the programming language uh, we will have some uh, in the predefined or inbuilt data type okay but here uh, inbuilt data type is also implemented using class okay so uh, in that way it is uh, object oriented 
okay and uh, another thing is uh, python support object oriented programming as well as procedural programming so both approaches are uh, supported by the python so that is uh, another feature of python okay next is uh, it is free and open source free and open source okay so that means uh, you if you want to use python then you don't have to pay anything uh, you can directly download it and uh, install it and then you can start working on it another feature of python that is uh, it is uh, interpreter based uh, programming language interpreter language okay so uh, according to the execution pro any language programming language can be classified into two categories uh, compiler base and uh, you can say interpreter base so what will happen in compiler base entire program will be compiled uh, at a time and then bytecode will be generated and then it will be executed while in case of interpreter based language uh, a line by line code will be converted into the binary format or bytecode and then it will be given uh, to the uh, uh, CPU for execution okay so uh, Python is a interpreter based language another feature of uh, Python is uh, you can say uh, cross language support okay so uh, there are some of the feature of Python like uh, C Python, then Python and Iron Python. So, what are these features? So, using C Python, you can embed C code into Python code. Then, uh, using Python, you can uh, uh, embed Java into Python, uh, or uh, you can also merge. Uh, uh, you can say dot net into the uh, python using iron python so these are the various uh, 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 features of cross language support okay so it, it is also supported by the uh, programming languages or various programming languages yes another most important feature okay that is uh, library support okay so Python support a very large number of libraries. Okay, so uh, that we will discuss in uh, next uh, uh, next tutorial. That is, which are the domain of Python, or in which domain we can use the Python. Okay, so library support is uh, uh, another feature of Python that uh, we can use. We can uh, uh, store the uh, sorry. We can use the Python for a different type of uh, programming. Then, uh, if you want to perform shell programming, then also you can use Python. shell programming or you can say system programming okay uh, and last not least um, let's say GUI programming so you can perform GUI programming using Python then uh, after GUI programming, we can have a database also. So uh, these are the feature of Python. Okay, now uh, let us try to uh, uh, discuss that uh, which are the libraries. Okay, or we can say which are the domain uh, where Python will uh, work. Okay, so uh, let me tell you. Uh, let us discuss the various domain of Python.
ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो ऑन फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग यू कैन यूज पाइथन ओके अनदर यूज इज लेट से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो विद वेब प्रोग्रामिंग web application programming then also it is possible so uh, for uh, some of the web application uh, programming uh, frameworks are let's say django then pyramid then flask then वोटल सो यूजिंग दिस फ्रेमवर्क यू कैन राइट कोड फॉर वेब एप्लीकेशन ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप अ वेबसाइट और यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप अ कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो दो काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन कैन बी डेवलप्ड यूजिंग पाइथ एंड वेब एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट फ्रेमवर्क नाउ अनदर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ पाइथन और डोमेन इज साइंटिफिक प्रोग्रामिंग now here uh, we are having very large number of libraries okay and this is the lamb like topic uh, at present so let me give you some uh, detail about scientific programming or uh, sorry uh, libraries which are which will be helpful uh, in uh, scientific programming domain okay so for example first one is numpy this is specifically designed for uh, manipulating larger arrays than uh, pandas so whenever you are working with uh, statistical data analysis whenever you are loading data into the uh, python okay then uh, these are the efficient way to do this then uh, another is uh, scikit learn then uh, tensor flow okay keras and lots of other libraries are supported like torque is there so lots of libraries are supported uh, in scientific programming okay these libraries are mostly used for uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, purpose okay another domain of python is uh, education domain okay uh, so in education domain also python can be used okay so uh, there are uh, some libraries uh, like uh, python programming introduction to computer science practical programming so uh, education uh, in education domain also we can use uh, uh, python then uh, next domain is uh, let's say entertainment okay so here uh, Uh, let's say if you want to develop uh, develop a game okay then uh, you can use uh, pi game which is specifically a uh, game development framework now uh, there is uh, also pi pil python image processing library that you can use for uh, image processing okay and uh, some other domain is like a desktop uh, programming or desktop application development application so uh, for that also we are having various uh, libraries like uh, wx widgets then uh, uh, pi qt is there then there is pi site so this is the another domain where we can use the python uh next domain 
iot okay so here uh, python is compatible in a single board computer like raspberry pi okay uh, panda board then uh, beagle bones so in most of the single board computer it is supported now if we uh, consider that uh, we do not have that uh, operating system as a middle layer we directly want to execute python on uh, hardware okay then uh, micro python is a good option okay so for example it is supported by uh, esp8266 esp32 and uh, different kind of hardware so pi board is also available so if you want to work with the iot then uh, uh, micro python uh, is supported uh, by this popular uh, iot development board and in a single board computer uh, python is available as in uh, programming language using which you can perform the uh, iot based uh, calculation or iot based interaction another popular domain of python is let's say um, uh, finance okay so how uh, it python can be used in python uh, in finance so in finance uh, statistical data analysis can be performed using python uh, there are lots of domain where python is used let's say uh, in uh, uh, in Na NASA is also using Python uh, for uh, calculating the trajectory and uh, then uh, few companies like uh, JP Morgan is there then uh, Intel uh, Cisco so these companies are also using uh, uh, Python for uh, let's say Intel and specifically Intel and Cisco they are using it for uh, hardware automation so uh, Lots of domains are there including uh, from object oriented uh, programming to uh, let's say uh, uh, space application so in each domain uh, we can use the python ok so this is the features of these are the features of python and these are the domains where we can use the python ok so how you should uh, start learning the python so that should be the next question. Uh, so answer to this question will be you should start with the uh, basic python uh, first complete the introductor introduction of python and uh, then uh, whatever domain uh, you like okay in that domain uh, you can start working on the python so in this tutorial uh, we will keep up to this in next tutorial uh, we will try to uh, learn that uh, how we can install python and how we can run the simple program hello world okay thank you